All right, welcome back to episode two of Game Dev Ty Ty Tycoon. Game off the market. Carl of Dookie Hauser is now off the market. It sold 15,000 units and generated 110 grand in sales. That's awesome. That saved our asses right there. So let's make a new game real quick because I've noticed the time keeps passing regardless of if you're doing anything. And I feel like I get, I think I get charged like every week I lose money for some reason. I think I get charged rent or <laughs> something. Okay, so um, let's do another, ah, fuck, I don't know. Let's do a hunting game. Um, adventure hunting simulation obviously would be a good hunting combination. Um, oh, I can't put it on the NES yet because I don't have a, the money for that. Okay, we'll put it on the Commodore 64. And we'll use the FX engine. Perfect. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't name it. Okay. We'll call it, um... Yeah, Big Wilt Hunter. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, text space graphics. 2D graphics. Yes. Oh, that's gonna break me, though. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. No, let's do 2D then. Yeah. Okay, we'll do 2D for now. I can't, I can't go into the red. I feel like that's going to screw me. I, I might even go into the red anyways. Okay, that looks good. Oh, no. Oh, God. I have no money. Um, that looks good for a hunting simulator. Yeah, the dialogue can't be that important in hunting simulating games. God, the end of the month's gonna kill me. I'm gonna run out of money. Oh, God. Ow! Oh, God. Okay, I can withdraw over to 50, but if your count is below 50, you'll go back. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Graphics, sound, world design. Okay, world design needs to go up. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good, I guess. Only one bug so far. Alright, fix the bug, fix the bug. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Here we go, finish, okay. Release it, big wilt hunter. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Come on. Be good, be good. Yes! Eight. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, that's time for these guys to screw me over. No? Okay, fine. Perfect. Great. Eight, 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 seven. I will take that. That's going to make us some serious cash. It's got to. All right. Well, I can't waste time, though. I need to, like, keep doing other stuff. Um, research. I need a new topic. Law, spy, mystery, rhythm. Um, these all sound terrible, though. Um, mystery? Okay, actually, that stops. So I'm not going to rush it. Law? Rhythm? Pirate? I'll do spy. Um, game tutorials? Or mono sound. I'll do mono sound. Oh, I can only do one thing at a time. Okay, spy it is. Research. Sell, sell, sell. Yeah, there we go. Out of the red already. Perfect. God, Big Wilt Hunter saved my ass. Cool. Okay, can I research something else real quick? Uh... Okay, so the more I unlock, the more I can do. Um, game tutorials. Oh, mono. Let's do. Let's do mono sound. Sound is uh important. Look at how much money we have now. One hundred sixty-five thousand. Perfect. 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 Okay, I can. I can keep going. You need to create a new engine, which includes this part. Ah, okay. I have to make, well, I can't make a new engine, unfortunately. I don't have enough research points. Let's go ahead and just make another game. Um, pick a topic. We'll do spy. We'll do action. 
and I can put it on the I can put it on the NES, right? Because I have to buy a license. I can afford that. Yeah. Okay. And we'll use our engine. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. Um. Um. Golden. I. Spy. <laughs> um. All right. Text-based. We'll do. Oh, yeah, here we go. Two D graphics version two. Perfect. I got a good feeling about this one. Or maybe I'm just writing the high of the previous game. The engine, gameplay, story, and quests. Uh, that seems pretty good, I think. Here we go, okay. A massive success. Well, go figure. Who didn't see that coming? I love the games that come with the TES, and I love playing with a controller. It's so much more fun than a keyboard. Well, wait until you get I Spy, or Golden I Spy. Dialogue, level design, artificial intelligence. Okay, I need to bump the dialogue a little bit. And yeah, we'll go with that. Big Wolf Hunter is now at the market. It sold 41,000 copies and $290,000 in sales. Hell yeah, it did. One more thing. Well designed, sound. Okay, I've already got those selected. Graphics. I'm going to bump up the graphics a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. God, that saved my butt. Okay. Look at all the bugs. Getting sloppy. Come on. Get those out of here. Okay. Alright. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay. Alright. Release it. The reviews for our new Lewis game, Golden Eye Spy, came in. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. I know what I'm doing. Come on. Ah, five. Okay. Usually the first one pretty much tells me how the rest of them are going to be. Five. I'll be okay with fives. Come on. Just, just straight fives. Maybe a six. Yeah, okay. I, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Come on. Okay, okay. That's that's okay. That'll, that'll pay for the bills, I think. That'll pay the bills this week. All right, so, um, game history research. Let's research something else. Game tutorials. Uh, okay, um, let's do sci-fi. I need to get new topics, I think. I don't want to get, like, repetitive and stale. See, and I've also got 407 fans. I think that's, like, an automatic, like, guarantee for someone to buy it. Sci-fi, perfect, okay. What's this? Um, they require you to generate a certain amount of design and tech points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you take. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you would have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Oh, okay. This pays $15,000. Let's just try this, see what happens. Come on, dude, you can do it. Increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to the more mature age groups. Developers focus their games on specific age groups. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Target audience is a bit, okay. Oh, nice. I had way more time than I thought I did to finish that. Yeah, three fifteen thousand dollars. Perfect. Okay. Um, I got one hundred and thirty-one k. Let me see if I can research something else. Target audience. Yeah, let's do that. My guy's ass has to be sore from sitting in that chair this long. Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Vina, I wonder who that could be. You successfully released research target audience. Okay, let's make another game. 
You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Your games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target, your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do pirate again. E for everyone. Um, and it'll be an adventure game as a pirate on the NES, and we'll make it on the FX engine. I'm going to make a new engine next time I get enough points, and we'll call it, um, Pirates of the Buffet. Jimmy Buffett. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's exactly how you spell it, Jimmy Buffett. Hang on. I want I want to make sure I'm doing Jimmy Buffett. Uh, it's two T's. Okay. Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Next. Two D graphics V two yeah. GoldenEye Spies off the market. It sold 13,000 units at 97,000. Okay, it wasn't as good as Good Will Hunter. Um, while generating game reports, you can start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have turned this option off in the settings. The hints range from plus 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 to minus minus and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When it hints, when hints have a question mark at the end, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular genre topic combination. Okay. Pirate and adventure. Uh, yeah, that, that seems about right. Okay. I can only assume that the creators of this game could just knock it out of the park. Um, and I'll we'll turn that down a little bit and turn that up some. Okay. Getting a little low on cash again, but that's alright. We can, we can go to negative 50 from what I remember. Uh, let's see. World design, graphics, and sound. I'm actually going to turn the sound down. All right, get those bugs out. Vina has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming system, the Master V, uh, technically superior to the massive, massively successful TES by Ninvento. Yeah, I think we all know how that ended up going. All right, perfect. Leveled up 2D graphics, sweet. All right. First reviews for a new disc game, Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett came in. Oh shit, I see 10, I see 10, nine, yes! Uh, eight, great, I'll take it. Eight again, oh, Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett's awesome. Everyone loves Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, 9888, I'll take it. That's the best one so far. Hell yeah. Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett. That is sick. Okay, I can't I can't waste time though. Um I can't create a game engine though, can I? It costs eighty thousand. And I need more research, I think. I'm gonna keep waiting on that. I'm gonna get more research. Ah, but I spend the research points when I do that. Um crap. Let's gen let's generate a game report for this. Yeah, let, let's see what like what everyone likes so much about this. Look at that, it's already sold like 30,000 units so far. Our post-release analysis of Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett is complete, and we got the following results. Pirate and Adventure is great. The engine seems to not be important. The platform genre match is bad. Topic audience is great. Pirate and Everyone is great. Okay, Pirate and Everyone. I'm going to make a sequel to this right now, but don't put it on... The TES. It's bad. So everything was great. The engine isn't as important. 
Okay, so the engine wasn't that important, and don't put it on the NES. Okay, hang on. So let me develop a new game. Pirates of the Jimmy Buffett 2. E for everyone. We'll do Pirate Adventure. But apparently it's really it's, it's a bad match for that. So let's put it on the Commodore 64. And the game engine will be the FX engine. Okay, I think I can knock this one out of the park. I think I, if I if I make the needed changes, I can I can I can make this a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. The engine wasn't as important as I thought it would be, so we'll turn that down some. Look how much money we've got now. Um, yeah, everything everything else was fine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it. I want the same exact experience, only better. Master Gear. Okay, I may have to make a game for that next. Um. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So almost done. Four bugs. Got to take care of. Forty-six thousand units and three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in sales. Hell yeah, man! In real life, I'd probably just I'd, I'd retire right now and then be broke in like a, a decade. But I would. <laughs> Not very well marketed in North America, but it will floor it will flourish. In the, ah, it didn't though. Well, I mean, it kind of did. New record. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Did this go as well as I was hoping? Come on. Come on. Oh God. Oh, it's a flop. I should have put it on a fucking. PC, ugh. I mean, yeah, because I put it on the Commodore 64. Hmm. Crap. Yeah, it could have been better compared to its predecessor. Well, just like every other sequel in the history of sequels, this one wasn't as good as the original. <sighs> it was okay. Damn it. Alright, well. Why? I want to know why. Okay, well, maybe it's because I... Okay, maybe that's why. Okay, so maybe I put it out too quickly. That must have been the problem. I shouldn't have done that. But it's okay. I still got money. I still got plenty of money. Alright. Story quest is important. Platform audience match is good. Well, that's a crap game report. Oh, okay. The market really isn't like... Alright. Alright. Well, I, f I feel like... Scott Cawthon at Five Nights at Freddy's just putting out games left and right behind themselves. Alright. Mm, 120,000 for basically the same engine that I've already got, only with mono sound. Mm, no thanks. <sighs> hmm. We'll get the game tutorials in, I guess. I still have, like, a lot of fans, though. Awesome. Alright, and... No, 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 I want to... I also want a new topic. Detective. Uh, I don't want that, but... Yeah, okay, let's do Detective. I'll make a Detective RPG. That sounds like that could be fun. And I'll put it on the NES, because that's kind of about the same time that... Uh, like, RPGs do good on the NES, I think, you know. Because Earthbound is a huge hit, for starters. Still, it sold 16,000 units. I think that's probably just because of my fan base being pretty decently sized already. 
All right. Well, I'm going to call it here. And then immediately start episode three. This is kind of fun. I like it. I'm doing okay. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.